and welcome to the newly revamped Lotus Huntress channel. My name is Bridie and I'll be here today doing some unpackaging of some Pokemon cards. As this is the first video on the channel, just want to give you a little bit overview of what's happening. Obviously this used to be a backup account but now we're going to make it live, get some stuff on here. There's going to be a mix of Pokemon card unpacking, there will be some TV and film reviews, like I'm currently watching the new Harley Quinn so we'll be getting some reviews on that. Um, films we're going to see when we go out to the cinema again. Um, so all these kind of things we'll be doing and reviewing and opening and showing on this channel. Um, so as I say, today we're going to start with a card unpacking. I've just got back into Pokemon card thanks to another channel, My Poke Madness. Go give them a check out. Uh, awesome stuff on there. So definitely give them a check out. Go give them a follow and a subscribe and all of that jazz. But um, because of them, I'm now back into it again. And I thought, why not share the Pokemon unpacking love with you guys? So, without further ado, let's open some cards. So the first thing we're going to go with unpackaging is these uh, two Sword and Shield and one Lost Thunder blister packs. Um, as I said, I've just recently got back into card opening. Um, the last I kind of stopped when Black and White was just starting out, and the series and the you know packs have just just started being released. So I haven't got a lot. I haven't got really any of the new new stuff after kind of black and white. So I should need all of these in theory, so I thought it'd be a good start. We've got some good shininess in the front as well, so we can guarantee, and loads of lovely little coins. So um, as we've got two sword and shield, I think we'll start with one of these first. Please excuse the layout of the desk. I haven't got a proper tripod and everything set up yet, but obviously we'll be getting there as the channel progresses. But for now, you can look at my lovely orange wall. Um, so we'll go straight in with opening these. Now if anyone knows me, you know I normally just go for the straight booster packs. Um, I'm a bit of an eco warrior. I don't like all the excess plastic and such. But um, I kind of got these from my Poke Madness, uh, their web store. Um, and as I've got some extra things, it's kind of a bonus. So yeah, so just pop that card out there. I'm gonna try and pop this out without bending the card too much because these are pretty vicious little cases. There we go. So we have this Gossip Fleur. It's actually got a gorgeous shine on it. I didn't realize how pretty that hollow was. That's gorgeous. Um, obviously got a little promo stamp on there. But yeah. That's good. If something I've tried to like pull out, that's okay. It's a good, nice quality card. And we've obviously got the uh, the coin of I can't remember. It's like Hydreigon or something like that, isn't it? So yeah, I said this is this is the era when I started stopping. But yeah, we've got a little shiny coin as well. So I add that to my collection. We've got a code card, but um, I won't show that because I know again. Being good pals with Pokey Madness, I like, know they like to give these away free on a Friday. So I'll put that aside and drop that off with her so she can give them away on her channel for free go Friday. So if you collect the um, online codes and stuff, again, give her channel a check out to get some free codes every Friday on YouTube and Instagram. But obviously we'll go straight into this pack now. So obviously said, this is the Sword and Shield. It's got a really cool Snorlax on the front. There we go. Now I know there's a card trick and I haven't actually um, checked what this one is, but that's another code card I think, yep. But I think, well, let's guess it's four. I might be wrong and I might have just put the shininess at the front, but um, we'll see, we'll see. I'll learn as it goes on. So we've got our pack. Oh no, I think I'm good. So we've got a psychic energy. That's really funky. But what I've learnt with the energies, you know, since I've been reorganising my cards, is they don't come with what collection they're in anymore. So I don't know where to put it. Obviously, I've opened this one out, so I've got it. So we've got an energy. A Bisharp. Or well, that might have been the one I was meant to not show. Oh, well. Bisharp. Evolution Incense. Vitality Band. A Diglett. A Ferro Seed, a Goldeen, a really cute Roselia, a Joltic, a 
cool midnight reverse hollow that's funky look at that you can't really see it on the camera due to the lighting in this room which is terrible but he's really funky looking i like him Peck 50 Iron Wing 100. See, I remember back in the day when Pokemon, the highest HP you got was like 70 HP and attack was like 40. What is this? So we go, we've got Corva Knight. And have we got anything sparkly behind it? No. Just a Chinchino. But there we go, it's still a little cute card. The Scarf Pokemon. So perfect. So. We've got that fancy reverse hollow call branch. We'll put it there as, as it's the first shiny we've ever pulled on this channel. We will um, we'll put it there. There we go. So that is that pack done. And I guess we should put the Gossip Flare there as well. So we'll go straight on to this um, second pack of Sword and Shield now. See if we can get anything different. So obviously we've got another Gossip Flare uh, promo card. I'm just dropping rubbish on the floor. Whatever. Whatever. So there we go. We've got that. We've got pop them all down there. Oh, okay. So we've got our little promo. We'll pop to the side. Oh, the code. We've got another gossip fleur. That is so pretty. We'll just pop that one on top of the other as it's the same. We've got another, another of the same coin. Back to the side, drop my more rubbish on the floor, it's just living on the floor now. And we'll open this one that's got the cool sword Pokemon on it. I don't know their names. I'm so out. So I don't know which one I might be doing this. Let's cool little punchy octopus. It is cool. Okay, so we'll just put the code card to the side. Flip it over. One, two, three, four. Okay. But a steel energy. Now, back in the day, I was quite a fan of the steel. Agron and such were kind of the thing. So um, let's take that as a good sign. So we've got steel energy. We've got an ordinary rod. BD. Nice hair. A raboot. Does he have boots? I don't understand the name. The clobopus that we saw. It is cool. Ghastly, again, one of my faves. When I had Pokemon Go, Gengar was my Pokemon I had following me. A rookie D. That is adorable and reminds me of all the tiny birds I have in my garden. That you can probably hear on the camera now. A sizzlipede. Look at that! <laughs> Is that a tiny moustache? That's amazing. <clears throat> Radiator Pokemon. What? Okay. I can't understand. A snom. <laughs> snom. I don't know if holding these cards. A reverse hollow sobble. Look at that. He's sad. And have we got anything sparkly? Oh my goodness! Okay, let's put the sub all down here for a second. A Tapu Coco V. What? What? With a 200 damage. What's up with the. I can't hold the thing straight in front of the camera. Look at that. Look at that shine. Well, that's not bad for the second pack of the start of the whole channel, is it? I mean, there's a slight bit of kind of flickering at the top of the card but all in all that's a pretty awesome win so we're just gonna, gonna slide everything across and we'll put him in the middle yeah not that you can really see it in this light again I will get a nicer display but yeah and obviously let's just go back to the song for a minute because he's cute in his own right reverse hollow he's also an adorable card so I don't want to like disregard him because I've got a big shiny but there we go look at that look at that awesome so an awesome awesome pull for our um for our second pack on the channel so are we gonna get something just as good in the final blister pack lost thunder what is this doing for us can we get anything we've got a little 
it took me a second to figure out what it is there. Lugia coin. I know who that one is. So um, let's hope the fact that I know who all the characters on the front are, that I might actually get somewhere. Let's find out. So of course, thank you for all your views and joining me for this fun adventure. Let's click it so you can't see the code card. Put that down there a second. Um, the user opinion is always good. As I said, I know I'm holding it to the side. I've got a bit of an issue with that. Um, but yeah, as I said, I've just started this out. I thought I'd give it a go. So um, we'll see how I go and what people think. So I've got this really cool holographic style Lugia coin, which matches, um, I think it's a Metagross I've got with the same effect. So that's really cool. Um, obviously, so we've got this Rowlet. I'm going to move myself with a code card over there. Let's just put that on that pile. So he's cute. So obviously we put him... Oh, I'm just knocking my cards everywhere. There we go. There we go. Look, there's a proper little shiny lineup. Let me move my camera. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's just move these guys. So, we've got the Lost Thunder, Lugia Pack. I don't know where this comes in terms of chronological pack orders. There we go. Well, uh, we'll find out, I guess, and what kind of things we've got. So, as I said, I haven't got any consistency on how these are being pulled uh, when I'll be putting these videos up. Just kind of as and when to begin with. Um, it's a cute EV. So, let's just put the code card. I won't even flip it because apparently if it's green and white that you, you you like kind of guarantee some shininess. So um, I won't flip that one over. All I can see is the code. So let's do that. Again, I hope I've done that right. I hope so because the energy's at the front. Okay. Dark energy. We're just pulling all the lovely goodness today. I'm loving it. I love a bit of dark energy. When I, when I actually play the game, the trading card game, I am... Um, I have a dark fairy team, so that will be helpful. So we've got dark energy, shuckle, fresh squeeze was its ability, that's a cool one. Spell tag, memory energy, that really cute Eevee from me. I love that, I love like hand drawn or hand painted looking graphics because um, I am an artist, so all good. A bruckish, that's something. A Durant. A Marie. I do love Mareeps. It's cute. A Fanfy. Cute little knitted effect on that. The long nose Pokemon. A Lantern. Again, one of my favourites from back in the day. Reverse Hollow. And I really like the little lightning bolt effect on that. It's cool. Okay. 214 cards in this pack. I'm going to need another folder. Okay, and it's not looking at it, but could be, um, no, it's not. But it's a cool two cannon, and again, as I said, I haven't got it, so that's still awesome to add to the collection. And it's a really cool card, really cool design. Awesome. So we'll put that aside, and obviously the lantern, which is our reverse hollow, we'll put back up here. You know, if anything's a little bit sparkly, it deserves a spot on here, I think. So there we go, we've got quite a cool collection. We've got our three promos, two Gosplers, one Rowlet. Reverse Hollow Corviknight, Reverse Hollow Lantern, Reverse Hollow Sobble, and our big pull of the day, Tapu Koko V. Pretty awesome card, and it's a pretty awesome thing. So there we go, that is the lineup. Let me move it off the tripod. And that is our pause today. So there we go. How awesome was that? Getting uh, opening just three blister packs and getting I'm looking at front of me because I forgot already seven seven shiny cards, including three promos and a V at 200 HP, which is incredible, really. 
Um, so a massive thank you for all for joining. Um, please feel free to give the channel a subscribe or a follow, whatever you really want to do if you're interested. I will be trying to do some more of these. I don't know how frequently, but I will be definitely giving it a go. Um, as well as other TV and series reviews. But I hope you've had a good time. I hope I haven't gone on too long. Um, as I said, I'm still really new to this and kind of learning the ropes. But uh, I hope you had fun. Any suggestions, any queries, any anything you want to say, leave a comment below. It's really appreciated. But um, for now... That's it and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.